<laughs> we are on our way to the beach, Virginia Beach to be exact. It has been a goal of mine for a long time now to catch a red drum. I've caught ocean fish before, but we don't really know what we're doing when it comes to salt water. I mean, we really only do it like, what, once a year? Yeah, maybe once a year. It is a bucket list fish to get a red drum from the surf. That's gonna be my target species. I think Maddie's pretty much open to anything that bites. I want a shark. Of course she wants a shark. Who doesn't want to catch a shark? We plan on making the first part of this trip sort of vlog styled where we'll be out fishing the ocean here and there and we'll have the family with us. This is a family vacation. The last part of this trip we will be filming like you're used to seeing us film. If all goes well, we'll be fishing freshwater to end the trip off on. But I just wanted to give you guys sort of an outline, but we will catch you guys when we get to the beach. Today, getting the rods rigged up. What are we gonna catch today? Shark! Shark! That's Mr. Porus. That's Auntie's man. That's Auntie. <laughs> and he's getting the poles rigged up. We're about to go help him out so he doesn't have to do all that alone. Yeah, hope we can get on him today, guys. I'm cutting up some mullet. This was actually bought at Bass Pro Shops on the way here. Woo! Yeah. All right, hey, 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 look right there. You see where this, those waves are breaking? All right. Back here. And now we wait. Are you gonna get a big one? I hope so. See what happens. You got something on that? Yes. I mean that thing was sticking it. Yeah. Wasn't. I mean that thing was jerking. He got it. It's a drum! He must have sort of swimming right I'm gonna catch him. He, he hit it really hard and then it's like, yeah, I think he was swimming toward you. Yeah, we need to get him back in. Alright, here we go. Yay! Yeah. All that and then turn around a four, so I already got the fish. 
There he goes. Yeah, when they're on, you'll see it. It won't okay. quit. He might be on, honey. Oh. He's on. He's on. what's on the agenda okay so today it's kind of cloudy it hasn't really warmed up yet we are going to fish from the surf for mm -hmm. saltwater fish we're going to be seeing what we can hook into fingers crossed hopefully we can make something happen you guys got to check out this little guy Ooh. we had to put a whole blanket down for him time for breakfast <laughs> we put a blanket down for him so that he has a floor he doesn't like hardwood but we're gonna go eat some breakfast and then we'll catch you guys out on the water Go girl, go girl. Real big. Get it, girl. It's big. See pill and drag. Oh. Guys, this fish took, hit it, and it like jerked the pole down to the ground. Yeah, you ha you have a whole audience. Oh, right now. Uh, lost the fish. Yeah, he popped off. That's weird. Was it drag peeling? Your drag was too stiff. What? Um, where he couldn't he couldn't pull any line. So instead of pulling line, he was able to pull himself. Oh, yeah, they do. 
Ain't he a little mouth? Ain't he pretty? He's a pretty fish. The thing is, we're tanked. I'm a whole time. <laughs> you got that on the field. I did. She just smacked you in the face of the fish. <laughs> that thing took drag and everything. Like, I thought it was going to be bigger than this. Now, do you see why they call him a redfish? Do you see the red tent? That is the species we came for. We don't do this often. We're not really ocean people. So for us, that was a nice drum. What do you think, Maddie? That was cool. That was a big one. Yeah, I could feel it pill and drag guys and then having the waves come down. It was an adrenaline rush for sure. It's such a beautiful fish and we were able to let her go nice and healthy, which is exactly what we want. We didn't measure, get a measurement or a weight or anything, but I would definitely say that fish probably fit in the slot limit, but we're not here catching food, guys. We're just having fun, enjoying the scenery, and just uh, trying to catch some fish. This has just been an awesome experience, catching a species that's brand new to me. I've never caught a redfish before, so that was fun. Oh, 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 Maddie, he wants another piece. Buddy, you gotta wait till it's off the hook first. You gotta have some patience. All right, Mr. Patience, you can have it now, but you can't have it while it's on the hook. All right, guys, we'll be back out here later. Someone's biting that too, look. Yeah, Took a was. chunk off of it. I don't wanna leave. I we'll am, be back. I am hungry though. We're gonna go eat some supper, and we'll be right back. But uh, we gotta give that to Mr. Starvation right here. He's been our buddy. He's been a good bird hanging out with us. I wanna see if I can get this Probably not. He's like, nope. <laughs> Turn his trust. He's scared. There he goes. Enjoy. All right, you guys, the very last day we're gonna be here. We're leaving bright and early in the a.m. We're gonna go hit up a restaurant and get a bite to eat. And then we're gonna head down to the beach. Hopefully we can catch a few more reds. But I will say so far, this trip has been a lot of fun and it has been a success. We have gotten our target species. We got a little bonus species, which was a little stingray. We're gonna go get us a bite to eat. When we get back, we're gonna go hit the beach and see if we can come up with any last day fish. And catch you guys there. Watching the bass jump while we eat. Yep. Maddie, are you sure you want to eat or you want to go grab a fishing pole? I'm about to grab a fishing pole and go to the <laughs> They're in the car. They're ready. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready to cast. So we just asked the waitress if we could fish at this little place at the restaurant we're at. And she gave us the okay. So if we're going to go grab a line and uh, see if we can put on a show for all these guests out here. <laughs> Which is she said there's big ones in here. Yeah, she says there's big ones in here, sir. We're going to find out. Maddie just got one, guys. First cast. A fish. A fish. You guys want to see him? Let me get the hook out. And then... Have you guys ever caught a fish before? No, he's alive. He's a largemouth bass. You have? Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, he won't hurt you, I promise. It's not going to hurt you. It's gross. He's got like a little sandpaper. It is gross. I can't do it. Do you want to hold him? Yeah, I just want to hold him. Get a good grip on him. I think I just want to hold him. All right, let him hold him that way. He might flop. If he flops, you got to hold him kind of tight, but not tight enough to hurt him. It's a fish. You did it. It's a fish. You did it. 
Yeah, you can. He's gonna die. Yeah. All right. Throw him, yeah. All right. Water, throw him back into the water. Bye, bye, just, fishy. Yep. Tell him bye and just throw him back. Bye, bye, fishy. This is a fake worm. Good job. You did it. Yep. See, that's what you do. All right, guys. We got a little fan club at this restaurant. Right. Maddie caught a fish her first cast, and now these little ones are following. They they're really interested in it, which is super cool. So they're over there with her. They were following me for a minute, but. I'm boring because I haven't caught anything yet, so he left me for Maddie. It's dark outside. We just left the restaurant. It's called Blue Peaks, by the way. Shout out to them. It's really good food. Awesome experience all around. We only caught one fish because we did kind of get bombarded with children. It was a lot of fun talking with them and sort of just teaching them and stuff. One little boy told us he had never fished before. He actually started feeding his food to it was a group of catfish while we were there. His mom got a little upset with him wanting him to eat his food, not the fish, but it was an awesome experience. Blue Peets. Blue Peets. If you're ever in the Virginia Beach, Sandbridge Beach area, definitely check them out. They're delicious. And their and food. Oh my God. Their food's their food. awesome. The po boy, shrimp po boy. Even though it's dark, we're still planning on heading out to the beach for a little bit. Hopefully we can get on something there. If not, we're gonna go crab hunting either way. And by crab hunting, what I mean is harassing crabs, just trying to mind their business and walk the beach. So that should be fun either way, but we'll catch you guys on the beach. There's all kinds of crabs. Look at this guy right here. Look at all of them. There's so many. Yeah. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. He's big. He's big. I get him. I get him. Suck his out. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Gotta go quick. I'm scared. <laughs> I was out, guys. I was out. All right, guys. I'm too scared to do it. Where? Oh my God! They're everywhere. They're freaking everywhere. Oh no, that's not one. Oh. That's the king of crabs. Uh, let's go back up this way. All right, we are gonna cast the line out just to see what happens. It's currently late AF. Can you see me? It's pretty hard. <laughs> Maddie is the sun right now. All right. So, let's get these chairs off of here, so we have a place to sit. Oh, and in case we haven't told you guys, here's our uh, combos that we're using. And these are, what are these, 10 or 11 feet? 10. 10 feet. There. And we got braid. What pound braid is this? Uh, I think it's 50? I don't know, guys. I want to say 50. I can't remember. So, we're working with in, uh, the same little rig that I showed you with this style hook. Nothing too crazy. And we got some new bait we're about to show you right now. It might be too frozen still for us to use. Hopefully we can. We're going with the squid. Ain't she beautiful? And it is frozen. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use it. We might be able to get a piece off of that. So we're gonna try squid this time to switch it up, keep things fresh and interesting. And either something will happen or it won't. But either way, we gonna try. All right, guys, I'm gonna help Maddie out, get some of the squid on these hooks. And we'll get it casted out and we'll catch you guys in just a second. Maddie's going to cast the pole out. And look, 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 you guys see him? Look out, it's like a deer in the headlights. Oh, that's a shame. This is a crap day. Hi, buddy. Uh, he looks kind of sad. I ain't going to y'all see his little eyes. He looks like he's rolling his eyes at me. Ah! I think I touched him, but he's gone. I was, I was too slow, guys. I promise I can pick up smaller ones. These bigger ones just scare me. Bye, buddy. I should just let you be out here harassing these crabs. I touched the crab. You touched it? I touched it. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't brave enough to pick it up. So we reeled that 
this poet, this one right here. Just because it was acting a little funny, we thought, but it was just a way. It's really hard to tell. We're still learning this ocean thing. I definitely think we've improved a little bit. Still got a ways to go, but it's been a lot of fun and we've been, it's been an experience. But it was just the wave hitting it. But our bait was gone. Now, rather the wave knocked it off or a fish stole it or a crab took it, who knows. But we did go ahead and put another piece of squid on this one. And on the second hook, we did put a mullet hit. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully something other than just enjoying all these little crabs running around. There's a whole bunch of them out, guys. We saw a real big one. He had a big old arm like one little tiny puny arm and one giant Popeye arm. It was pretty cool. Guys, I faced my fear. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. <laughs> Bye. Y'all know I ain't picking that one up. Hell no. I can't pick one half that size up. Look at this baby. Can you pick Look that up? Look at tiny babies. It kind of looks like a spider. I don't know. Can I do it? I'm scared. You did it. Not the babies. These are adventures. Y'all, he's like the size of a dime. That's the only size I can pick up. All right, let's let him go. You ready? Baby. Oh. <laughs> wow. That little baby crab I picked up went got his mama. She said, who punched my baby? Who touched my baby? Our last piece of cut bait, and then we're gonna. Yeah. So we're gonna try that, give it a little while, and then we're gonna quit harassing the crabs and go inside and call it a night. Something we... was eating on that squid. Yeah, it was. Is there plastic in the center of it? I don't know what that is. Weird. It might just be like his type of skin, whatever squid have. Some sort of membrane. Okay. Look. She's still waiting. Who touched my baby? Uh-uh. Go <laughs> this way. You a big one. They are everywhere, guys. That's another know, help me. Go. That one's not moving. Go. I'm scared. Go, go, go. They go. He's coming out of oh, <laughs> We're out here at the craft and we're doing really good. Which we kind of were, guys. I'm not I look forward to this. Every time we come to the beach, I want to go harass crabs. Ah, that light is blinding. Mary's got the whole sun on her head. Boom. Last cast of the night right there. Will it happen or won't it? Find out either you're going to see us on a fish right now or you're going to see us waking up right now. They're like a giant flea in the sand. We just found one. There's a bunch of them. I found a teeny tiny, like microscopic one. It was like the smallest one I'd ever seen. They're right here. You see their little eyeballs? Look how teeny tiny, guys. There's a bunch of them in here. Look, there's another one. Yeah, little tiny ones. Oh, look, there's another little tiny one. That is cute. I feel him. He, he's still not a big size, but he's better. You guys see? And this is what the bottom of him looks like. Cute little guy. But we're going to let him go. Bye, buddy. Have you had fun? Yeah, we've had a blast. Long but drive ahead of us. Long drive, and we're about to go stop and hit up some ponds on the way. All right, you guys. There are so many ponds around this neighborhood. We are overwhelmed. Fortunately, we do have to go so you can only fish one just for a short while 
I'm gonna keep my chatterbait on. All right, come on, pup. I know he's just a tiny dog, but he's constantly jerking. He doesn't like to sit still, so I'm gonna do my best. He's like, tangled all around my legs now with his leash. Ah, oh, I had a follower. I had a follower, guys. I could see his little bubble. It's hard to do anything with the leash wrapped around my body. Oh, he's following you? I got one. Got one on the spinnerbait. Ooh, it's fighting good. It's not a bad one either. Yeah. All right. He's a pretty fish. Real healthy. Thanks for the bite. There he goes. Nice. What do you think of it? Good catch. Guys, if you hear our dog crying, he, uh, he heard another dog over there. Hey, go pee pee. Go pee pee. That's a good boy. Got another one. I'm about to take that spin a big rubber. Oh, a rabbit. That thing shot out. It was a rabbit. He shot out, didn't he? It's like, quit disturbing me while I'm cleaning my room. A big one. Oh, I saw all the phone. Still not a bad one. About the same size. Pretty fish, though. All right. Sweet. Number two. There he goes. Nice. Good job. All right, guys. Hopefully we get a fish. Hey, it looks like we can get on the other side of these bushes, too. When is it going to be your turn with the dog? Here, put that under my foot. Just don't let him go, please. He'll go to the road. All right. Please don't get bit by a snake. All right, here we go. Fish. Get a fish, get a fish, get a fish. Got one. Feels really little. Maybe I need to take my drag a little bit. Oh, he got off because I had to tighten my drag. Dang, I had him too, guys. That drag was just so loose. Get him. You got one? Yeah. I got another one. It looks nice. Number three. That's oh, a bad one. You got the dog. It's a long one. Yes. It it's very long. That would be a, I'd say a two pounder, but it'd be bigger if it wasn't so skinny. That's a skinny fish. Yeah, it is. Beautiful fish, though. Biggest fish of the day. Long fish. There she goes. Good job, Maddie. I was like, why did you drop him? But then I saw you were fighting a fish. I thought you were just like, nah, f it. Yeah. All right, Cheech, you ready to go back to the car? Come on, boy, you ready to go home? This place is incredible. Good boy. It's so many ponds, oh guys. Gosh. 
Pond. At the next stop sign, pond. You turn left. Just everywhere you look in this whole little neighborhood is ponds. It would be awesome to be a kid growing up here. But that officially wraps up our trip. Our target species was to get our very first redfish and we did it. We didn't tear them up. There wasn't like catches left and right, but we got our red drum and we're super stoked about it. We couldn't ask for a better trip. It was an awesome experience and that's what it's all about. Getting outside and doing something you love, having something you're passionate about that keeps you moving, keeps you active and that you enjoy. So if you guys do not already get you an activity you love to do that involves the great outdoors, get outside, move around, live life guys. It's so short. Go out and enjoy it. And remember, fishing is for everybody. Outdoors are for everybody. Get out there and do your thing. And we are gonna catch you guys on the next one. We got a four hour drive home, so.